This work is really a proof of concept to how we apply precision cancer medicine, um, where we can take genomics and the new technologies that we use in genomics and apply them to clinical medicine for practicing oncologists to use to help take care of their patients. One of the really big revolutions in cancer over the last several years has been the use of technology that previously we had been using for research purposes and then taking that technology and moving it to the clinic to be able to sequence patients' tumors and understand what alterations their tumors might have, and hopefully that will help doctors make decisions about what treatments to use. There have been a couple of, uh, couple of limitations to being able to do that, and this paper really tries to address several of those limitations to create a start-to-finish process by which we can obtain tumor samples from patients, do all the sequencing, do the complicated genomic analysis, layer on top a clinical interpretation, and then return that information to patients and physicians for clinical decision making. I'd say there are really sort of three key points to this, uh, to this effort. The first step is saying, can we do any ge genomic profiling off of these clinical samples, which would greatly expand the number of patients who could actually access this kind of technology. And the next step was, can we generate all of the alterations that we need um, for making this, uh, for, for finding the right kinds of mutations in uh, these archival samples and the way we do this with frozen samples. The next step and the sort of the, uh, the other critical piece of the study was, can we turn all of this large amounts of data into something that can be actually used in the clinic by an oncologist? And so what we built was an algorithm that tries to identify among the hundreds to thousands of alterations that occur in any given patient's tumor. Uh, what are the most relevant ones for clinical oncology and what could we use to act on in the clinic. A, a lot of this study is really intended to be a technical report to really demonstrate, yes, we can do this and this is how we're doing this. Um, and as part of this study, we had one sentinel patient who uh, we demonstrated by applying this whole soup to nuts uh, platform could actually get enrolled on a clinical trial and have a clinical response to one of these investigational drugs that he otherwise would not have been able to, uh, to have. Um, and I think as a case in point, it really sort of demonstrates the potential for the study. What it does then is now set the stage for saying, well, if we, if we, can, if we show that we can do this uh, in one patient, in two patients, in this case we did it on 16 people and found that in 15 of the 16, uh, we could find something clinically relevant in their tumor samples. Uh, then sort of the extension of that becomes, well, what happens when we do this on many more people? So this work is, a, is, is truly emblematic of the Broad in terms of the true multidisciplinary team-based approach. This project starts with uh, the genomics platform under the leadership of Stacy Gabriel and Sheila Fisher where we were actually able to take paraffin embedded tumors from the pathology lab which historically we haven't been able to do exome sequencing on and um, the genomics platform here uh, modified their processes to be able to take those archival samples and do exome sequencing. And so that was just the first step. But then the next step is complex analysis. And, and uh, the, the computational group here under the leadership of Gaddy Getz uh, developed new algorithms to be able to look uh, at that. And then from, from the analysis point, we go to the clinical interpretation. And, and there, the Broad's relationship with clinical institutions like Dana-Farber was really key. Uh, in, in developing the clinical analysis of the type of sequencing we were doing. And then, of course, a relationship with clinicians to actually go and return those results and, 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 and make those decisions. And so I would say this is, from start to finish, a very team-oriented project and really leverages the, the really multifaceted broad approach and, and to me, it could not have been done at a place that didn't have the, the diversity that the broad does.